Welcome to this video on specialised cells. Take a look at the keywords we'll use in this video. So most cells in multicellular organisms are specialised, meaning they're adapted in some way to be good at a particular function. The process cells do to become specialised is called differentiation. To do this, cells turn off certain genes to help change it to enable it to complete a specific job. Genes are almost like instructions for organisms. For example, you have genes to determine your eye colour. Some examples of specialised cells are the gametes. The sperm cell has a tail at the back to help it move. It also has a haploid nucleus, meaning it has half of the number of chromosomes. All other cells are diploid, meaning that it has the full number of chromosomes. Having a haploid nucleus means that when the gametes fuse together to form a zygote, it has the full number of chromosomes. In the head of the sperm cell is the arxum, which contains enzymes to help break down the egg cell. The head is also strengthened to help with this too. Just below the head of the cell, it has lots of mitochondria to give it lots of energy to help reach the egg cell. The egg cell has a cell membrane that can change structure so that once the sperm have fertilised it, it hardens so that no more can break the membrane. It also needs lots of nutrients in the cytoplasm to help feed the newly formed zygote. Like the sperm cell, it also has a haploid nucleus. Here are some more types of specialised cells. The first is the ciliated epithelial cell, which is adapted to have these hair-like structures on it to help move substances along. These are usually found in places like your intestines, where they need to move substances. The nerve cell is specialised to be extremely long to help it carry impulses over long distances quickly. Finally, the red blood cell doesn't have a nucleus to help make more space for oxygen. Its DNA is loose in the cytoplasm instead.